Increases trader capacity. Yes, that's the sort of merchant we like. Thank you so much. Right, uh, in you go. Plop, got another trade route available to me now. Um, Hokia has already sent a trade route out, which is good. I'm going to send one now from my capital, um, just to start building a nice trade route or two. To like the Mayans, I think I'll be a good place to send them. This is all good. My capital's doing great again. Nine pop. Just waiting for it to get a little bit higher. Alex is already at war with like a lot of people. No one wants to join in with that war, so we'll go for the formal war anyway. Um, they do have 539 military strength. It's a lot. I'm not going to lie, it is a huge amount, but it means that I can do a lot of converting with the twins if we play this right. I'm really hoping we can play this right, especially if we use our courses to good effect. These things are tough, and I, I do have a depredation one. Where are you? Here. I'm going to name it the Winding Vanguard. Oh, it's a great name. I love it. Um, that's next turn's attack if I do that. Uh, I can't attack through the archer, I don't know, oh actually, apparently I can. It's just going to let me do that apparently, sure, okay cool, we've killed the encampment now. Um, and in we go, get that trade route with Fez sorted, lovely, and I'll get two more routes um, from Constantinople soon. Right, come on Greece, send me your army, they're not going to, not going to, but look, uh, this is, Pella is by far the, the biggest population city they've got, so this is pretty cool for me actually. Um, the courses are able to just run through. Can you get across to there? You can. These guys can do that. Lovely. We're going to, of course, do pillaging. There's mercenaries. I can upgrade my troops now, which is good. Equestrian orders, I don't need it. I've got max anyway. Professional army is good. Let's do that. I've got machinery just about to upgrade, so that'll help. Um, you step into there. I think this is an encampment one, isn't it? Garrison, yeah, look at that. So attacking from Pella works really well. Um, let's get in Col and let's move this guy through. The catapult is struggling to make it to the front line, but that's okay. Oh my, we've got too many units and there's too many rivers. I mean, Pella has got almost no strength at all. I'm just going to go ham on it. Sure. 10 population capital. That's nice. I'm being spread um, Protestantism. What does that do? Divine inspiration, Gerda was. Ah, oh, it's not the feed the world I was looking for. Buddhism is. I haven't actually met the person that does Buddhism. So that's fine. Um, okay, right, Golden Age time. That's really good. That helps me to keep all of the cities I'm taking. I can get monumentality uh, in order to get more builders everywhere. That would be quite handy. Three Inquiry converts um, commercial hub into science. Oh, actually, that's really good because I've built a load of commercial hubs. Perfect. Right, I'll very rarely need that one. But printing, oh, printing's really good, of course. That gives me diplomatic visibility. I just get excited by everything, really. I'm, I'm just, it's everywhere. Why, w why would you not get excited? Let's get the envoy from theology. Uh, quick deals. Anyone want to buy any of this stuff? Yes. Yes, do it. Lovely stuff. And actually, just the iron people want, seemingly, but that's okay. You can buy some as well. Open board. Does anyone want these? One gold per turn? I'll take it. I'm, um, I'm cheap. I'm a cheap date. Oh, and Oya, of course. She's a good, a good find. I can put her just to hook you and send her in. Perfect stuff. Okay, right. Now, Carl needs to get involved a little bit further. This Corsair can pillage again, um, but there's a there's a depredation Corsair on the way, so I don't want to take that one off. Pella is now surrounded. Good. Uh, now I can go we pillage, no get theology. Said. That gives me an extra envoy, which means I can start getting towards Zanzibar. Um, recorded history, yes, 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 oh, this is lovely stuff. And now one attack, followed by two attacks, followed by, oh, Pella can't quite, doesn't quite get the kill. Okay, never mind, next turn. Wouldn't it be great if light cavalry got a boost? It's so unlikely to go through, but I'll just give it a try now, Melly. Melly's cool. Actually, I think my, you just, does Carl get that boost? Um, no, unfortunately not, but still. There's Pella anyway. Um, Hippolyta. Oh, she's great. I'd love her. I mean, I've already got three heroes, so the chances of me picking her up is slim to none. Um, Pella's already loyal. That's awesome. And now we can start getting printing by getting this boost. That's lovely. Oh, I love courses so much. They're such good units. No, we don't like city state emergencies. Don't bother with that. Yeah, it failed. It failed to right and permanently okay this uh, great general is actually really good she expires to be the one that gives you 
25% less war weariness later on, so that's a wonderful one. So let's try and get printing quickly. Kasploosh. Uh, five turns now. That's pretty cool. Um, you can see the twins can get actually the final attack and kill on this warrior. It's not a huge amount. But it means I get some era score from doing that, and I also can now pillage the industrial zone to give me a little bit more. And it means they're more likely to attack that warrior, who is really weak, than any of my decent units who I don't want attacking. Oh, my second vampire as well. Hooray! Perfect. Okay, what am I going to call this one? This, this, one's, this one's more of a stretch. I'm going to call him Rick O'Connell, because he was the main character from The Mummy, and, and they had the air balloon in The Mummy. Yeah? Actually, you know what? I don't even remember if it was the first Mummy or the second Mummy movie where that was a thing, but I mean, come on. That's fun. Right? Ugh. Come on. Actually, vampire castles are a thing. I need to look for some good yields because I need to get those vampire castles down as soon as I can. Is that pillage the one I need? Oh, next turn. Next turn. Oh, no, I can do it. Of course. Because I've got... Um, depredation. Printing. Okay, cool. That means I've now got plus 12 on all of my troops. Yes. Do it. And all the while, as a Brit, I'm making tea. Doesn't matter what war I'm fighting. If there is not tea to the front line, then how will our boys become non-anything but parched? It's it's appalling. Go, 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 boys. Oh, hermetic order. Oh, it would have been really exciting to find out how many ley lines there were, but never mind. It's healing the twins. I'm going to just pick up that guy. Oh, look, it's a man at arms. Hee hee hee. Oh, how lovely. And I'm going to be pillaging Faith wherever I can get my hands. My little mitts on it. Yes. We like that. We like that a lot. Um, Hercules, Heracles, whatever you call him. He's coming to the front line. I'm moving the crossbow over the hill. Um, this warrior is just standing tribute on that tile. I'm just sort of leaving him there, um, apparently. But that's fine. So what would supplement me best? I think actually getting knight units and my Kashigs. Wow, that would be great. Three turns for that one. This has turned into a really, really good game. Just about one campus at the beginning, and now I'm just sort of stealing enough stuff in order to pick up everything else. So, yeah, this is what. Very pleasantly for me. More faith, as I say, just in case the heroes expire. And then we've got a lovely campus there to just push us along a little bit. The spoils of war. Speaking of, just sort of using the spoils of war to get more luxuries for myself. Look at all these. Num, 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 num. Oh my goodness, the Temple of Artemis would have been so good in the capital. Why not? Well, yes. Oh, I'm going to find the person who built the Temple of Artemis and I'm going to deliberately destroy it so that I can rebuild it somewhere else. Oh no, that was a depredation courser. Damn, I moved too quickly. That was really silly of me. Pillage. There we go. And pillage as well. And you can move yourself back to there. What else can I do now that I've pillaged all the way there? Sailing I still haven't got, but we don't need sailing. Sailing is for losers. Build an aqueduct. Oh yeah, here we go. Knights. Ha ha. Oh yeah, these are good. Don't think there's anything else to pillage in this city, so the vampire's just going to come in, steal it. It's loyal. Of course it's loyal. Um, I've got one catapult and one crossbow basically single-handedly destroying this city, which is now gone as well. So that's great. Um, and now we move on to this one. This is proving to be speedier than we could have hoped, really. Um, actually, the twins. If I can get the twins into play. I can probably kill that man at arms. I could do with stealing another one of those units actually. Uh, let's move this knight to there. So I can pull you back. Move you to there. Move you to there. Um, okay. That's, is that as a marsh tile? Yeah it is. It's got too much production. Right. I can't quite do that this turn. But what I can do is move that warrior off. Move you to there. And then now Oya has got loads of units that she can just go kaploosh and heal all of these. Which is great. Now I've got military engineering here. I'm just going to beeline towards military science to get cavalry. Cavalry are really strong, own two bombards. I don't even know what a bombard is. It's not going to stop me though. One attack, early by two attacks, and this is his mine as well. Um, Victor's not really doing much at the moment, so I'm going to bring him to the front line just to help to keep these guys up. But the twins, twins are pushing forward. Carl is pushing forward. Now, actually, uh, there are some good opportunities for some vampire castles around here, actually, thinking about it. I've got to... I've got to just make sure I put them down. I always do this. I wait for the perfect one and then never actually get any bonuses from it because I'm just too desperate to get a perfect one. I might just stick one on the hill up here. I know it's not great. I know it's not great, but, I mean, it's still better than not having one. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll work about getting sort of better options a bit later. I'm going to stick one down here as well for the same reason. 
I love that. There's a man at arms there, but I'm just like, you know what? Don't care. Don't care. I'm just going to run down and immediately go and find your other cities so I can go and pillage them. Goodness me, they had a lot. They had a lot. New capital. Sidon. Is that really one of yours or is that one of Dido's? I don't know. I can't remember the naming, actually. I feel like that could be one of Dido's cities. But, um... You know, I can't judge. I can't judge. I'm sort of taking things over quite rapidly as well. I'm just looking for the continent of Nina. That's all I'm doing, really. It's green. It's over here. Oh, I was right next to it there. Perfect. Well, we'll keep that in mind. Oh, Hercules is gone. Boo! How much to bring him in? A thousand. I think I can do a bit of pillaging to get to that point. Hang on, there's a camp here. Like a bump. Okay, in two turns I'll have enough. That's that's pretty decent. Oh, Sidon's put walls up. Oh, how boring. How very boring. Well, in that case, I just need to get a little bit of gold. Um, let's just do this one. I think a battering ram is not too expensive. Have I got, have I got, I've gone past that point, haven't I now? What are we at? Um, siege towers, 400 gold. Okay, bit of pillaging needed and we can get there. Oh, there's the extra faith. Aha, aha. Well, there you go. Hercules is ready. Um, I think we're going to just focus on getting a few more districts with him for a couple of turns. And then we'll go from there. There you go, there's the vampire castle I was looking for. Um, 15 food, 8 production. It just helps with my capital, because my capital's doing great. There's another unit stolen. Hee 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 hee. Oh man, Alex, you need to stop giving me all these units. This is wonderful. Oops. Oh no. I think I just literally made all this stuff. Ugh. No. I've got to fix it all now, that's so annoying. I think I might attack this city directly, as as opposed to side on. N no, no. Oh, come on, that was good. Oh, extra faith from a great merchant grants a three copy of a luxury resource to my capital. Nice. What do I do? Amber. I think actually amber would be a good one for me to do. So let's go do that. Yeah. Why not? Stealing more archers. We like as many units as we can get. And actually, Carl has made his way to the front line as well. Carl! Do you remember that? Oh, references. Anyway, that city's been taken as well. Hurrah! Every now and then you just see a decent tile and you're like, Oh, why did I not get that into my empire before? Nice eight yields just to add to everything else. Delicious. Oh, my capital just needs more. It's more housing more everything. I'm building the Oracle. I've got the Alhambra. It'll be built after that. Um, I'm having to get rid of some of these, well, well, quite decent tiles, but I'm just like, I need better. I need better. Switch there is the Oracle. The I built it in my capital Pray because I got such a low faith a game. I was thinking being able to bring also heroes back with less itself. faith. That Should compounds quite well with the sort of setup I've got. Forever. The Jebel Barkel. I, we, we played that so well in my Sweden game. I'm tempted to do the same thing in my capital. I forget how Excellent. brilliantly fun it is to get your, you know, your your capital doing this when you're playing a vampire game. Like it's it's brilliant fun. Now I'm gonna have to build an aqueduct, Ugh, and it's it's really painful because some of these tiles are just brilliant. But I think it's gonna have to happen. It's just whether or not. It's like where am I building my my industrial zone? That's kind of like the crucial point here because I'm thinking an aqueduct. It's just Gives me another two housing. It's next to a geothermal fissure, so it will give me an immunity. Uh, I'm gonna just do it. I'm gonna regret it because that tower was really cool, but never mind. Must be Alhambra gone. I was building that. Nice. Done. Eight turns left. And I think, actually, if I give this a little bit of a move around, because I've got a new government now. Oh, ho, ho. Monarchy. Yay for monarchies! Right, military policies are good. Serfdom is such a good card, I'm going to be keeping that. Aut autocratic legacy is good for my capital because it's hilariously fun. And I think, what am I going to go for? Where's my wonder building card? Have I got that one? Gothic architecture. There we go. Lovely, we get these wonders done. Nice and quick. Oh, it's turn 102, and whilst I didn't get 100 science by turn 100, it's it's as close as you're gonna get. Like I was I was happy with the caliber of what we've done. Siege tactics boosted from that campus pillage, and there's Sidon. We are going to take that, and then I'm going to liberate it. No, so it was it was Venetian. I suspected as much. We're gonna make peace with Mr. Alexander. Oh, he wants some stuff, does he? For that, well, tell you what, I'll give him I'll give him what he wants. Let's give him a five gold per turn for peace because the reason for that. He's actually going to be killed in the next turn anyway, so now I don't get the grievance policy or the grievance uh, penalties for taking him out 
whilst my warriors very conveniently, I should say, they're going to make their way down to where I think Dido is. I could do the military alliance as well, so we're going to go for one of those with the Mayans. There we go. Now, that gives me even more bonuses when it comes to just, you know, going to war with, with people at the same time. Like, I'm, I'm happy with how this is going now. As we suspected, by the way, the Cree capital has a bunch of wonders in it I want. So I'm hoping by killing Carthage, I'm going to make way up in that direction. And we'll get that all sorted quickly for me. Hilariously, no one has any grievances against me at the moment because no one remembers who Alexander the Great is. That's hilarious. <laughs> oh, fair enough. And actually, my military ally is at war with Dido, so this is good. What I'm doing is I'm just waiting here until I've done the usual, which is try and make a trade route between our nations. Um, it might take a turn or two. I've got to get my units through. I've got open borders with them, but as you can see, these rivers are making this absolutely painful to get through right now. So we're just having to do what we can do. Oh, but look, I can already make it to that. I'm going to try and put it to Tyre actually, because then the the um, oh, trading post is in a city that's like second on my kill list and makes it a little bit easier. I'm passing by. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Fine. Oh, my knight just got hit by a flood. Looks like nature itself is attempting to stop me from killing these guys, but it's not going to work. I'm just going to send my cavalry in. They've only got 250 military strength. That's half, half what Alexander the Great had before I killed him. So, you know, they don't really have too much of a chance here. Oh, there's another flood over there. God, this map has been a super floody map, like in a in a big way. Big flooding. Germany. Oh, okay. What's with Germany? Does do they want a you know a, a joint war with Dido? Um, they do actually. So that's quite useful. We can we can look at that in a second. But first of all, is there now a route to Tyre? Yes, there is. Okay, in we go. That is that route. That's lovely. This knight will be sacrificed if I attack this turn. So I just need to wait and run him out. So we'll do that quickly. But if I just sort of move my units in. Doesn't matter if I'm kind of forced out of the bounds a little bit. Like, I'd rather get pushed out of their borders when I attack um, and just go for the attack than, than sort of worry about it too much here. This is this is fine. This is fine. Look at all these units. What can they do? What can they possibly do to stop this? Cree want a joint war as well. You know what? I will go with the Cree instead because I'd quite, quite like that one. Let me just pull that injured unit out before I forget to. Um, oh, their open borders have just fallen. Uh, actually, oh no, this is a good opportunity, so I can go in and pillage. Right, this is fine. That worked really well for me, actually. Uh, let's go and do this. Make deal, joint war on Dido. Give me what little gold you fancy. Actually, I'll take a truffle shuffle instead. Thank you, just because inevitably I'm going to lose access to that one. Then we'll go to... Um, so yeah, look, my, my military ally is already at war with them. That's good. Join ongoing war against Dido. You're going to give me a bit of gold. I wonder how much do you want to give me? 130 they want to give me. Nice. I'll take it. Actually, I'll take some gems instead. Um, but, 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 but how much would you give me? 70? I'll do. Perfect. So we're at war. I've got my military ally involved. So I'm getting plus 12 in movements, plus 5 in alliance, plus 5. Oh my goodness, this is just ridiculous. I, I have... There's a lot of strength going on here. And now my knight can come in and pillage in its turn. And it's got all its health back. So that's good. Right, Biblos has got 9 health. That needs to be taken care of quickly actually so we're gonna go and run in and quickly go take this city out oh yeah they're attacking me but they're barely doing any damage at all oh my god stop dying everyone oh, stop dying people keep oh dear right fine military science that's good that's really really good that gives me cavalry line inventory all kinds of really fun devastatingly difficult to kill units so that's navigation i can't fix my harbors as i've been picking them up so that's a bit of a problem. Um, Watermill granary. This is all good. Okay. Okay. Now, how are we going to do this? What's the quickest way of killing this city? Or well, most effective way? I've got a trebuchet. Actually, that's that can move and fire. Thinking about it, let's just move you guys across, and then I can go to there. Good. Actually, that trebuchet can can move and fire next turn. Brilliant. This knight unit. If I just get you in, get you to attack and go kasploosh, like that, and then I'll move across. Um, I will. Oh, let's just go for the attack. Oh, no, I should have used this first. Oh, that would have been really silly. Oh, for goodness sake. Right, that's a stupid move from me, but never mind. Um, yeah, let my capital... Uh, my, sorry, my 
Vampire is doing crazy powerful here. So we'll go for the Oya attack first because she's weaker. And then Vampire attack, bam, like that. Actually, that works out well because I can take two cities of eight population, eight and nine population in one turn. So that's quite a good combo. Industrialization boosted, you say? Well, that will make my capital overwhelmingly powerful. So let's do that quickly. Right, this is a lot of tech to do. And a great scientist, kill a unit of spearmen. I don't know what spearmen are anymore because I've upgraded way beyond those. Classically, I wonders. I might be building that, actually. How's my capital getting on with that one? Yeah, Alhambra. Oh, it's working. It's working nicely. Good. I think I should be Oya killing that. Good. And then let's get my corset to just heal itself up quickly. You heal yourself up. You heal yourself up. Good. All my units are now on full. We'll kill it and hopefully steal the... Oh, I didn't steal the horseman. I guess it's because it's in the city. Um, oh, yep, yeah, cool. We're, we're stable, hilariously, already. Um, so we'll just go and run in. And look, there's a little weak city there, which we'll go and take with what few units of, are manning our eastern line. <laughs> it's, this is going to be one of those fights where... Oh, there's a Temple of Artemis. Damn, it's a terrible Temple of Artemis. Why did you build it there? Oh, that's infuriating. Never mind. Fountain of Youth. And Preslav. Oh, Preslav is really useful, actually. Extra loyalty for taking... Um, cities with encampments or encampment buildings. That's really, it, th that was one of those sort of underplayed ones. It doesn't look very good on first viewing, but when you do play with a Preslav based domination game, because the AI spams encampments so heavily, it can be incredibly effective. Oh, that's a lot of tiles. Everything Done. Here um, the Alhambra. Now this, is, I very rarely get to build this one. This is a military games. policy slot, which is, is awesome, delicate, because when you beautiful. go to war, you can't have enough military policy slots. There's the Alhambra. Again, right. I must be able to build a spy soon, actually. How long can I get spies? Not yet. It must be close, though. Diplomatic service? Is that, is that the one? Yes, it is. I thought it was close. And Preslav is now mine. Again, it's doing that thing where it's not giving me full visibility. Oh, no, I just, it's because I haven't got the policy card in. First one counts as two. Why did that not work? I swear I did. I did not just put two in. I thought I put two in there. Oh, I'm so confused. Oh, no, it's because it didn't work because I'm missing a card, so it doesn't count. Ah, damn it. That's such a stupid little bug. I wish it would just retain the policies you had from the last turn before dropping them out. Do you, do you know what I mean by this? Like, it's not a... I don't feel like that's an unreasonable thing to be annoyed about there. So it didn't give me the Diplomatic League card because I had an empty military policy slot because I built the Alhambra that turn. Ugh. Oh. Missed me out. That that missed me out on the suzerainship of Preslav there. God damn it. Diplomatic service. Well, to be fair, if it's not going to give me decent things, then I'm just going to take this bank in. So, my trade routes from my capital right now. One, two, three. Um, that one, that should be giving me way more than that. Hang on. Right, so let's just have a think about this. We've got two, two. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, this is good. Okay, we've got some good good policies now. Good good trading rates. I just need to get more visibility with the Mayans, which I should be able to do now because I've got a military alliance with them. It's now being boosted quickly. Uh, I've got Visselbank and I've got the extra trade route. They're not trading with me, which I find just insulting, being quite frank. There's the last Alexander city. I was tempted to, you know, liberate them and get some era, you know, remove some war penalties. But, um, nah, it's just not worth it, really. Oh, suddenly Tyre has 60 strength. Well, that's not very nice. Um, the deals do something about that, aren't we? Uh, should we get, if we get Hercules to kill that unit, there we go. That improves the vampire even further. Carl is on 50 strength, but he's attacking with 83 strength against uh, cities now, which is pretty good. I'm, I'm happy with that. That's going well for me. I'm moving my units around. My trebuchet can move and fire because of the presence of the general, which is always amusing when that happens. I'm now attacking into the city. This is good. I was hoping to be able to leave this city alive, but rebelling in one turn, well, I'm, I might as well just kill it. Um, hang on, we can give you that and then attack with this one. Bam. That's my city to take. Okay, good. Good. And then the Cree, I've got open borders with, so whilst, I mean, this course is good fun, I'm just going to wait until I can upgrade them for half price. We're just going to go and have a little peek around the Cree. Um, pursuit, here we go, and we might be able to send some trade routes to them pretty soon, actually. In fact, there's a trade up. Yeah, let's do it. I'm going to send it to, to the crew. I've also got a spy on the way. You'd be, I mean, you're so proud of me. I'm actually playing the game, like, semi-decently. Like, I'm actually thinking about it. Come on. 
So rare that happens, enjoy it. Enjoy it while it lasts. Actually, there is another city here, but it's on the coast, so I can't leave it. That's really annoying. Um, but I don't need to rush kill that one, so I might as well just keep attacking the capital for now. Twins have gone. Boo! How much to get them back? 700 faith. That's, I mean, I'm so close to that already. That's ridiculous. Um, is there anything I can pillage? Oh, yes, I can pillage this one, but I don't know if I have enough movement to get to that tile. It's on a hill, and it's got forest, so... No, I'm not going to have enough movement with a knight to do that. So I'm just going to wait the turn out. That's fine. Oh, three population kills. God, that city keeps getting flooded really badly. Ouch. Okay, we need to build a dam on this, this particular river. Otherwise, this is going to get silly. It's susceptible to flooding, you say? No shit. Um, <laughs> all right, let's build the dam there. Oh, dear. That's going to be a while before we can do that one. Oh, damn, I can't put the... Um, Traded down now because the commercial hub got pillaged. Oh, that's so annoying. Damn. That was, I was just about to get um, uh, a, a sort of, um, what do you call it? Trade post with the Cree. But no. No, I can't do it anymore. And I don't think I've got any other city that's got a market ready to go. Oh, actually, this city had a lighthouse. That'll do. Okay, so now I can do it again. I'm just having a look. There was a city over here, I think. Yeah, look at that. That is a much bigger city from the crew, but it's going to take me longer to take. So, um, annoyingly, okay, you have to show all again. It's not going to show me the roots this turn because it's only just gone up. I have to wait until next turn to do it. There we go. Right. Now, that's a mouthful. Um, Pito... Khan Apiwian. I mean, that's probably an Ursa Ryan special there, but you know, I, I do try. <laughs> I sw that one's a hard one. I think that's a justifiably hard one. Oh yeah, before I forget as well, chivalry is not very important, but where has it gone? Professional army is because now I can get the Queen's ponies into a cavalry unit, and that makes my um, uh, my vampires. My fan, that's what they're called. Vampires, very tough. Literally, a second drought just appeared on the same tile the original drought was on. Like, I get it, okay? You don't want to give that tile food. That's fine. But just don't drought and then drought again. That feels incredibly harsh. Tires, walls. Oh, hang on. If I do that crossbow hit, bam. Tires, walls are now off. That means I can take it. Bam. Professional sports boosted. Of course it is. Of course it is. Is the city loyal? Yes, that city's loyal now. Good. And the crew are actually building walls. Very sensible. They can see what I'm doing and it involves cavalry. Also got the twins back. Ha ha! Nice stuff. Right, to the front line. And by that I mean just off the front line. Go on Preslav. Oh no, yeah, there we go. Right, Dido have taken over Preslav. But that's fine. We can we can allow that. That's okay. Hercules gets one hit in. Good. Carl, I could I could get him to navally invade, but I'm not going to. Just keep him. Actually, this man arms might now keep him there. That's fine. That's fine. We can move our army. We're just moving now to the Cree front line, which is good. We've got to the continent of Nina. This is Nina. Okay, cool. Right. So this is the first part of a Luftballon achievement that we've been looking at. Um, I now need to basically sort of engineer a, a situation in which I launch a nuke from this continent, which should be easy. It's always got to be the intelligence agency with Mongolia. Such a good building at the best times, but extra spy lets me just to, you know, really, really put the pressure on other people. I'm also going to make a little stop off on colonial offices, because I quite like the idea of three loyalty per turn in cities that aren't on my original continent, which is pretty much everything. I was on Euro America, but all this war was going on on either Nina, or I think that's Asia America up there. No, that's Nina as well. So that's, that's good. That means all of these cities will have three loyalty per turn. Oya's gone as well. We expected that one. That's fine. Okay, Wonder Construction. Oh, I see a door. It's amazing. Uh, could I build... Now, this is the thing. In my harbour city. Yes, I mean, okay, immediately the problem is that I'm not going to be able to build it quickly. But is the mausoleum still available? It is. Required district is occupied by an enemy unit. That is more of a problem, but we can build ourselves walls up quickly. We can deal with this barbarian boat nice and quickly. I, I think that's possible. Voting is always fun when nobody knows what to vote for because I've got no diplomatic favour. Um, I'm just going to vote down on sugar. Why not? We'll see what people go for. It's a mystery. No tea! No tea! Tactics. Oh dear. All of the choices. It's a terrible one. Anyway, Dido's now out of the game. I know. I know. Do not glory in my conquest. I do though. 
I do. I glory in it massively. Now, did I get grievances from everyone else? I didn't, no, because they were all at war at the same time. That is brilliant, and I love it. I love it a lot. Oh, I can't put my flipping trader down because that lighthouse was just killed again. Everything keeps getting killed. Oh, never mind. Right, we've got one trading post with the Kree, so I don't need to worry too much. Are they at war with anybody else? Um, they're allied to the Mayans, which is a little bit frustrating, but, you know, we'll we'll ignore that for now. Um, I don't, I can't bother to wait, so we're going to go for a surprise war. It's terrible for my immunities, but honestly, it's fine. And finally, a very special shout out goes to Scott Stratton, Major King Kong, Matthew Wilkinson, Salty Tech, Midnight Oil, Trafidaskby, Paul Coffey, Senjik, and Kroger Brand Trail Mix for all of your support on Patreon. Thank you very much.